Hello, everyone. This is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we're going to talk briefly about six different coats of arms in the green family. The first is blazoned per best sable and argent, a lion rampant counterchanged. This was the coat of arms of Edward Green, who was created the first baronet of Samford in the county of Essex in the baronetage of England on July 26, 1660. He married three times, including to Catherine Pegg, who was a mistress to King Charles II, and he had two daughters, but left no male issue. It was said that through his extravagancy and love of gambling, he entirely ruined his estate and his large inheritance passed from his family. Next we have Per Chevron Vert and Argent in chief, two castles of the second in base another surrounded by a fortification proper, overall a chevron or charged with three tortue, crest out of a mural crown gules, a horse's head, argent maned ore. This was the coat of arms of the green baronets of morass. The green baronetcy of morass in the county of Durham was created in the baronetage of Great Britain on June 27, 1786, for the British Army officer, General Sir William Green. He was born the eldest son of Fairbridge Green and his wife, Helen Smith. Now, Helen was the sister of the famous author and economist, Adam Smith. Green served in Flanders, and he, was, he participated in the Battle of Fontenoy. Green surveyed and reported on the defenses of Newfoundland in 1752. Three years after that, he became chief engineer of Newfoundland. He also trained soldiers in military engineering in Halifax, Nova Scotia. He married Miriam Watson and had at least one daughter and one son with her. Third, we have or three leopards passant proper on a chief sable, a demi-griffin sagrant between two sinkyfoils ermine holding a key also proper. Crest, a griffin's head erased sable, legued gules, doubly collared or between the collars, a sinkyfoil as in the arms holding in the beak, a key or. This was the coat of arms of Charles Green. The Green Baronetcy of Milnrow in the county of York was created in the baronetage of the United Kingdom on December 5th, 1805 for Charles Green, a British army officer who became general officer of the Northern Command. He was born in 1749, the son of Captain Christopher Green. He fought at the Battle of Saratoga during the American Revolution, where he was taken prisoner. He died in 1831, at which time the title became extinct. Fourth, we have Azure Three Bucks Trippin Ermine, which actually they're ore here, on a chief ore, Three Crescent Sable. Crest, a demi buck springing per fess or and azure charged with two crescents counterchanged. This was the coat of arms of the green family of Poulton Hall or Poulton Hall. Now, Poulton Hall was in the west of England and that was the home of the Poulton Lance Lynn family since the 12th century. In the 16th century, their surname became Lancelin Green and eventually just Green when Elizabeth Lancelin married Randall Green of Congleton. Fifth, we have 
Argent on a chevron between three fleur-de-lis sable, as many escalops of the field. This was the coat of arms of the Greens of Horseforth in Yorkshire, who descended from John Green, who lived in the 15th century. And lastly, we have Azure Three Bucks Trippant Ore, crest out of a ducal coronet, a buck's head ore. This was the coat of arms of the Green family of Kill Manhannan Castle near Clonmel, Ireland. In 1678, Godfrey Green, Godfrey Green was granted 541 acres at Moortown Keating, Knocknagel, and Rathmore to hold for the use of his four children by his deceased wife, Frances, daughter of Robert Cox of Bruff and the county of Limerick. This family had many prominent branches in the 18th and 19th centuries, including those of Old Abbey, Kilman Han, Greenville, and Kilkenny and Kilkia Lodge in County Kildare. If you enjoyed this video, please visit coadb.com and click on the link up top that says genealogy research. As you learned in this video, one surname can have tons of different coats of arms associated with it. So don't just pick any old coats of arm that has your surname on it. We piece together your family tree to determine which, if any coat of arms, belonged to your ancestors. Thank you.